Hey YouTube, it's Alicia here and I'm back and I'm here to talk about the WWE Hall of Fame Awards and as I'm sat here and I thought, what am I going to say? First and foremost, I went back on YouTube and I watched every moment. I'm going to talk about certain people from certain classes. So the first one, I did not know that Titus O'Neil was going to be honored with the Warrior Award. That was that that shocked me when I saw that. I go on, okay, he's well deserved. He's the most wrestler I can say that does a lot of charities. He works with a lot of charities. He's trying to show his sons a, a little bit more positive, even though he don't get to wrestle that much and he hasn't had title a title belt opportunity in years. I think. This is, that was, um, I, was, I mean, he does a lot of charity with WWE, but if it wasn't for him, hey, you know, he, WWE wouldn't had thought to give him this award. And so I think somebody in the back probably said, went up the bats for him to get that award. So congratulations to Titus O'Neil getting the the Warrior Hero Award. So I have to talk about him because that was just one of them. Now from the 2020 class, also from the 2020 class, when everybody found out that the Bella Twins was gonna be inducted into the Hall of Fame, I thought, okay, this is great. And I'm going, who could adopt them? And I was just thinking and I thought, and I was thinking and I'm thinking and I'm thinking, I said, Daniel Bryan would be a perfect shoe in to adopt um, Mickey and Bray. But then I was going, oh, well, maybe Stephanie McMahon. Then I go, oh, wait, maybe Lita or Trish. I mean, or some, or Charlotte Flair and um, Becky Lynch or Becky Lynch. Those, I mean, these are the um, people who I just thought who could have adopted the Bella Twins. Um, we didn't get that. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Same, um, but the most part, that was some of the people from the 2020, 2020 class that I was very excited to see who's going to be abducted and everything. Now, the NWO, I was excited to see them be abducted, but um, um, I think the NWO, I will say, somebody in the, one of the members is very questionable. And the last time I talked about it was last year. When I said one of the members is going to have a double back-to-back, -back, a double back-to-back -back Hall of Fame induction. If you know which um, member I'm talking about, uh, comment below. So let's move on to the 2021 class. The one person I am, I was so excited to see adopted this year was, oh my God, can somebody say, R V Rob Van Dam, R R V D. I have followed his career for a long time and like he was one of my favorite um, male wrestlers when it came to like, yeah, he was one of my favorite male wrestlers, uh, um, male wrestlers from his time in the W, ECW, from ECW, WWE, and TNA. He has, he has done it. So that was just one of a courageous thing. And then one of the one, one heartfelt ones that kind of got me was, can somebody say? British Bulldog. I can't never call his real name, but British Bulldog um, adduction. I thought that was very heartfelt and everything and stuff. But the one I was so excited about was Molly Holly. Seeing her being adducted, it was a great thing to see her being adducted. And I just thought, and as it went on, I noticed everybody was being abducted by the same two people. Now, what I'm getting at is none other. Kayla Braxton and Corey Grace did all the inductions, the whole inductions of 
everybody from the 2020 class to the 2021 class. And I noticed that in some men, I felt like the Hall of Fame Awards was uh, Sir Bland this year. Meaning we didn't have nobody, no other wrestlers to come in to induct these. Like when you think of the Bella Twins, come on, you would probably think Daniel Bryan, from Daniel Bryan to the um, stepfather, John Laronitis, or Stephanie, or Vicki Lynch, and, um, and Charlotte Flair. You would think somebody out of them, out of the, out of the people I just named, would have ducked the Bella Twins. When it came to um, Molly Holly, I'm thinking, oh, it could. I felt like it could have been Trish, Lita, um, Trish, Lita, um, Victoria, um, who, um, if I could say current superstar who could have abducted her. Kayla Bryson could have been a single person too who could have abducted her. Um, anybody, but we didn't get other wrestlers coming in abducting these other wrestlers. And I just want to put the question out there. How do y'all feel that Corey Graves and um, Kayla Braxton did all the abduction, abducting, abducting all of the wrestlers for the 2020 class and the 2021 class? To me personally, this is just my opinion. I really felt like um, that this year's Hall of Fame Award could have been divided up into two nights. What I mean by two nights, they could have had one night all for the 2021 class and one night for all of the 2020 class. To be like saying, oh, the 2020 class is going to go first. It's gonna, you're going to go on and abduct them first. That's what I feel like. They could have abducted them all first, but they didn't. So they did it all in one, one segment. But like, Overall, I think um, just overall and think, I think I give it a 7 out of 10 because who was doing all, who was abducting everybody. And it was like, I mean, it was kind of lackluster. We ain't, we ain't hearing about funny moments or anything like that. And I want to hear what y'all had to think about it. And I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it again. Said WWE had a two night. Said WWE had a two night Hall of Fame awards. If so, what would you have done? All right, that's all I have to say. Until then, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel.